Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Oscar. And I'm Nia, and we're here with your morning announcements. Salem Congress is hosting a drive to collect used eyeglasses. Bring your older unwanted glasses to your homeroom. The glasses will be measured and provided to individuals who need them. Glasses must be donated by February 14th. Thank you for contributing to this good cause. SAD will be meeting tomorrow at 7 a.m. in room 612 at Plymouth. Would you like to tell the campus about your favorite pet? Pets at Peace Up is back on STS. Please submit two pictures of your pet, one that has you in it, one with the pet alone. We will air the picture of the pet alone. Please send your photos and a brief story about your pet to petsatpeaceup at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you and your pet friends on our show. Enjoy a few hours searching through bins and records at CDs at 88 won the Parks Records CD and Music Memorabilia Show on Saturday, February 17th. Show 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Salem Cafeteria. Collectors will find thousands of vinyl records, CDs, and other music collectibles. Admission is $5 or $10 for early admission. And the show is free for Peace Up students with student ID. More information is at 881thepark.com. Community Financial Credit Union will be at Salem on the 23rd. Stop in to check out the credit union. It is time to start thinking about graduation. The graduation speech contest for all three schools are open now. Speech scripts must be submitted by March 1st at 3 p.m. Check your email for more details. Finalists will present their speeches for a judge panel in mid-March. Attention juniors and seniors, the Career Center is your place to get information on colleges, military, and professional trades. To find out more details and to register, juniors and seniors should go to the Career Center webpage and click on the upcoming college visit schedule. This week, Tuesday is a real estate chat, Wednesday is Lawrence Tech, Thursday is Grand Valley, Washtenaw Community College, and the United States Army. You can keep an eye out on our post on our Instagram at PSEP Career Center. Are you looking for a job? Check our virtual job board on the Career Center webpage. The job board is updated regularly. That's all for your announcements, Peace Up. Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Juliana here with your news bit. As the NFC NFL season concluded, pop star Taylor Swift played a significant role in generating over $331 million for the NFL and the Kansas City Chiefs. This year, the NFL experienced its highest regular season female viewership since 2000s increasing by an impressive 63% when Taylor made her first appearance at Kelsey's game. His jersey sales skyrocketed by nearly 400%, making it the second best-selling jersey in the NFL fan shop. That's all for your news bit. Peace up. Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Sam with your sports. As you may have heard, the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the San Francisco 49ers 25-22 after a low-scoring 1919 game in the regulation, this championship went to overtime. Brock Purdy and the 49ers got the ball first, but were held to just one Jake Moody field goal. The Chiefs then drove down the field, and as time expired in overtime, Patrick Mahomes hit McCole Hardman in the corner of the end zone to secure a Chiefs' third Super Bowl in five years. This weekend in college basketball, Michigan State took down Illinois 88-80 behind 23 points from A.J. Hoggard, and Michigan lost another Big Ten game to Nebraska. In Peace Up Sports, can basketball doubled down with the girls beating Salem 48-38 and the boys defeating the Rocks 69-62. Finally, in world athletics news, marathon world record holder Kevin Kiptum tragically passed away in a car accident yesterday. Kiptum was training for the Paris Olympics and was on track to be the first man to ever break two hours in the marathon officially. That's all for your sports, Peace Up. Have a nice day. Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Maya with your weather. Expect cloudy skies today with a low of 27 and a high of 42. Have a great day.
Good morning, Precept. I'm Johnny here with your pet of the day. This is Cooper, a six-year-old mini golden doodle. Cooper loves to go on walks and play in the snow. His favorite foods are chicken and bananas. Want to see your pet on the announcements? Submit a photo of your pet with a brief description to petsofpsep at gmail.com. Michigan for the ice festival. Okay. Okay. Um, can you introduce yourself? So my name is Tyler Coleman. Okay. I'm a chef instructor at okay. Orchard Lake or uh, uh, Oakland Community College. Sorry, I'm also the chef at o uh, Orchard Lake Country Club. So. Okay. How long have you been ice sculpting for? Um, so I've been ice carving for roughly uh, a little over ten years. What got you into ice carving? Um, so I took the class when I went to culinary school. Okay. Um, so it's one of the elective classes you can take okay. uh, for two credits and um, sort of adds to your whole um, culinary uh, degree, sort of another skill set to add to it. That's really cool. Um, what has been your favorite piece that you've ever made so far? Um, so I got an opportunity to carve up in Alaska okay. and uh, I did a 16 foot tall dragon. Wow. Um, so it was probably the, the piece I was most proud of. Really cool. uh, yeah. And how long did these take you today? Uh, we carved for three hours. Uh, probably in this weather, we probably could have had a little shorter because the sun started to damage them. Yeah. So uh, we're about to finish cleaning up here. So it was a three hour competition. What's the ideal temperature for? Um, below freezing for sure. <laughs> so we want it under 32 degrees, mm -hmm. um, closer to the you know, 10, 15. Mm -hmm. um, then we can stick stuff together and get sculptures that are way outside the block. Um, but right now with this weather, you see a lot of them are sort of right the size of the block, not much bigger because it's hard to get things to stick together and um, it's also, you want to keep it so it's not melting down. So Thank you so much. You're nice very welcome. You.